I really want to tweak the reds near the bubble. Okay, I got my red mask. That's that's the whole image. I got a range mask to try to narrow it down. I made a game mask to get closer. What's all that pixel math I need to know again to get these masks together? Ah, maybe SETI Astro will make me a script. Welcome to SETI Astro. We all know masks can be very powerful when we're trying to adjust colors, brightnesses, uh, just do a ton of things within PixInsight. The biggest issue is the ways we generate masks a lot of the time apply to the entire image, uh, right? So here's, here's a red mask, did with color mask mod. Here's a range mask to get it you know, just the brighter portions of the lobster claw and the bubble. And then you could use something like the, the game script to isolate down to a, a small area, but then there's nothing else in there. Now you can use pixel math to uh, combine these in various different ways to isolate what you want within your image. Uh, but based on the comments I've received, not a lot of people like pixel math. So I got my mask merge script uh, to help us with this. I'm going to show some simplified examples to just show you what the different options do. And then we'll go ahead and look at a real world example like this particular one here where we're just trying to isolate the reds around the, the bubble nebula. So here's the new mask merge tool. What you could use with it is have up to three different masks. You could invert each of the masks and then between them you could add them together or take the union of them, intersect them, or subtract them. So mask one is, is like your base mask and then you have a mask two, whether you want to add those masks together, take the intersection of them, what have you, and you can be done there. Or if you have a third mask optionally then you can take that combination of mask one and mask two and do another combination with a, a third mask. So just like in our first example we were showing where we had the game script mask, a range mask, and the red mask, we would want the intersection of all those masks to generate our final mask. But let's look at some binary examples to really see what it's doing. The script also has a preview to make sure that you've selected your correct options and the mask looks correct prior to actually generating it. So let's just do mask one and mask two. We'll add them together and look at the preview. All right, that's what we would expect with our adding the two masks together. Now we can see what the intersection looks like. You can see it's just the spot that is included in both masks. And then you can subtract them. Now it's going to take the first one minus everything in the second one. So there's your, your output there. Just took that bit out of it. Also, you could always invert one of the masks too. So if you invert the first mask, it'll make all this area here white and then the circle black. And then you can go ahead and subtract that mask too. And you could see how that will change the results here. And then here's the result for the intersection, so on. And then we can bring in that third mask and again, let's just do something simple like add them all together. Good thing we got the preview. Forgot to hit the invert button. There, that's all three masks. Just add it simply. And now we could just intersect them all. So this is just going to show the overlap of all three masks. It's this portion. And I think you guys can kind of get the idea with this. Uh, the other really cool thing about this is if you have a starless and a starry image or a stars only image union in this script is screening 
So you could use this script to actually quickly screen your star and starless images together. Yes, I know Jurgen's toolbox combined image can do that as well, uh, but this script is way faster. If all you're doing is screening your stars and starless images together, use mask merge, screen them. It's very, very fast. All right, let's jump back into that real world example. Okay, here in our real world example, we wanted to just isolate those reds down by the bubble. So we made, you know, a game script to kind of just isolate that. We have a, a range selection just to make sure we're getting the brighter portions because we don't want to affect all that blobby red out here either. And we want to make sure that it is just the red we're looking at. So we could intersect all these masks. We had our bubble mask, our red mask, and we also need the range mask we created. We could look at the preview. And here it is. It's just the red down by the bubble. We'll say, generate my mask. And there's our new mask. It's exactly what we wanted. It's just the brighter portions from the range. It's the red. And it's just the area down by the bubble because we isolated it down with the game. And then, like I said, you could use it to very quickly screen your stars back in. Just open up Mask Merge. There's our starless, and we need our starry image. We'll click Union and Generate. Done. I know sometimes uh, Jurgen's Toolbox Combine Images, that takes a while to load and it does all the previews and stuff. So if you're just screening your stars, super fast with Mask Merge. One other nicety in my script is if you hover over the drop down with the selected image in it, it will show you a small preview of what that is. So you can make sure you got the right mask in the correct uh, drop down. I've updated my website, setiastro.com, under Pix Inside Scripts. If you scroll down, Mask Merge Utility is now on the list. And I do have the URL to the main repository. As a note, again, you need build 1605 or higher to use the repository. I realize this may not be the flashiest of the scripts I've put out, but it definitely serves this purpose when you're trying to get your masks together and isolate those uh, troublesome areas that you need to adjust in your image to really make your image pop and stand out. I want to thank my channel members for bringing up the suggestion that they needed something like this and helping me develop and work through all the beta testing. If you want to become a member too, we'd love to have you as a member as well. Please comment, like, and subscribe.